I'm Roger McMenamin. I'm here today to talk about a workers' compensation issue and a particular topic on course and scope of employment. Sounds like a, a tricky legal term, but it's really not. Course and scope of your employment uh, is really dealing with the injuries that arise while you're engaged in business for your employer. So you're doing things for your employer. Now, of course, there are obvious examples of course and scope of employment. If you're climbing a ladder, going up that ladder, you fall and you break your arm. Of course, that's co course and scope of your employment. But what happens if you're in a van driving to work with the ladders on top of your truck and you get into an accident? Are you in the course and scope of employment when you're traveling to work? Sometimes yes, sometimes no. It depends on uh, if you're furthering your employer's business. Uh, I've had cases personally where uh, the injured worker was driving a group of people to work and he was paid to do it. Um, therefore, he was furthering uh, his employer's business by commuting and taking and getting the people to work. I've also had cases where people were working out in a employer-sponsored gym and had a heart attack. Believe it or not, that's still course and scope of your employment because it furthered the employer's business to have a gym on premises so people could exercise and then get to work promptly. Um, and finally, there are course and scope issues that happen all the time when people are walking to and from their place of employment from a parking lot. The issues arise where is the parking lot owned by the employer? Is the park, are they required to park in a certain lot or are they free to park anywhere they want and walk into work? So these can be complicated issues for a very simple topic. Consult a lawyer and remember, experience matters.